Welcome to the Chinese language. Learn Cantonese phrases for beginners. Today, you get to learn about what to say and what to hear at the restaurant. If you have not done so already, I highly recommend you to download our mobile app called Cantonese Phrases Beginners 1. This app contains flashcards, quizzes, lecture notes for various learning modules that pertains to the very beginner in the Cantonese language. The app is completely free and it works on both iPhone and Android. So here um, we got a set of phrases where uh, you would usually um, experience at any restaurant um, that speaks Cantonese. Um, so when you first arrive in the restaurant, um, most um, uh, employees there would ask you how many people. So how many people in Cantonese uh, would actually be called in a restaurant setting in particular would be So um, in this case, means how many. means how to means many white is doesn't mean people it actually means seat so basically in Cantonese it actually translates to how many seats so how many people in Cantonese is gate or white now once you get sit uh, once you are sitting down at a table usually the waiter would ask you what to drink. What to drink in Cantonese, um, especially in Hong Kong, they would ask you Yam Ti Mat Ye Yam Ti Mat Ye Yam is drink uh, Mat Ye means uh, something and D is just a transition word. So what to drink in in Cantonese is called Yam Di Mat Ye. Now what to eat is uh, similar to what to drink, and uh, that is Sik Di Mat Ye. So what to eat in Cantonese is called Sik Di Mat Ye. Now, um, if, if they're asking you this, you would want to start the conversation saying, I want to have. So, um, in Cantonese, I want to have is ngo sang yu. So, from, from previous uh, lectures, uh, we already know that ngo is I or me, and then um, sang means want in this case in particular and um, have is you so I want to have in Cantonese is called ngo sang you now um, this is a, a, a very long one but uh, now once you finish your food um, you want to say um, the bill please now the bill please in Cantonese would be my danam got my danam got my dan means um, getting the bill got means please so if you want to say the bill please in Cantonese it will be my danam got now, if you want to go to the washroom, um, you want to um, ask other people where is the washroom. In Cantonese, where is the washroom is 
，洗手间喺边？洗手间喺边？洗手间 in Cantonese means washroom and 喺邊 means where is. So where is the washroom? In Cantonese, you would say 洗手間喺邊 Now, if you want to、um, tell people that the food that you're eating is very good, then you would say 好好食好好食好好 Means very, and sick means eating. So, 好好食 is very tasty in Cantonese. Now, if you want to ask a particular dish, how much is it? You would want to point it and say it in Cantonese. 几多钱几多钱 How much is it in Cantonese? Is 几多钱 Where 几多 means how much, and 钱 means money. So how much money? So how much is it in Cantonese would be 几多钱 Now, if you ordered a dish and、uh, you found out that it's not enough, and then you want one more, so. If I want to say I want one more, what should I say in Cantonese? Well, you should say 要多一个要多一个 So it translates to be want one more, basically. So I want one more in Cantonese is 要多一个 This concludes our lecture. Thank you for your listening. Remember, like us or subscribe to our channel for more updates on our lecture materials. Also, download our free app for your iPhone or Android if you have not already done so for flashcards and quizzes that are related. To this lecture, also check out our website、um, as shown in our video description on YouTube for apps and lectures for other units. Thank you. Bye bye.